Vince Lombardi, the legendary coach of the Green Bay Packers, started his first player meeting saying, we're going back to the basics, the fundamentals, because that's where mistakes are made and victories are won. He pulled out a football saying, this is a football. Hi, I'm Donna Newman, and my thinking like Vince's is when you have the fundamentals, you can do anything well. Or as Facebook wants you to, fall in love with the game all over again. Certainly, Facebook didn't clarify that one fundamental objective until Google Plus at the end of June managed to out-announce Facebook with its popular features like circles, hangouts, and privacy settings. Now, the dramatic changes of Facebook are about one fundamental goal, emotion. Facebook's objective is to be the social layer that supports, powers, and connects every single piece of the web no matter who or what it is or even where it lives. Recall when Google Plus entered the field? Facebook's response was a meager new lineup, group chat, new design, and video calling featuring Skype. Whoops! <laughs> Google had all of that covered in Gmail alone. When Google launched its Facebook competitor, Google Plus, at the end of June, many played Monday morning quarterback in predicting the imminent demise of Facebook especially those critical of Facebook's privacy settings. Oh, that's when Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg himself called a new play. Facebook was shifting from user growth to user engagement. That's why you saw three recent changes, revamped friends lists, a real-time news ticker, and the subscribe button. Friends list lets you share content with your closest friends and the ticker, ju just like Twitter lets you have real-time conversations with your friends as soon as they do anything. Subscribe lets you follow people you admire but may, ne may never have a chance to friend. And those three upgrades were a mere foreplay to the major change rollouts revealed at the F8 conference in San Francisco. Keeping fans informed about America's team, Facebook rolled out changes including a major overhaul of user profiles, new apps for playing music, and watching video on the site, as well as a social news apps. For all of you fans, here's your playbook to the changes and their payoff, thanks to Mashable and WeBuildYourSocialMedia.com. Some of these changes are in beta right now and will be opt-in for start. In the long run, they will become the new defaults. Number one, we're going to get a timeline and it's a scrapbook of your life. Essentially, it's a complete overhaul of your profile page. Here, Facebook introduces your profile designed as a scrapbook, not just a series of status updates. Now, you'll see a stream of information all about you. The photos you've posted, all your status updates, the apps you've used, and our real-time using. All that scrolls all the way back to your real birth, <laughs> not just your digital births. But perhaps the most striking feature is the cover photo, which displays a giant image at the top of the new profile page. And that's my favorite upgrade. Here's the payoff of the first, first feature. Sharing more than a status update means you can express who, who you are while discovering who your friends are at the same time. And this fundamental shift from timely updates to the real-time me connects people, builds relationships, and you bet, it boosts trust. Here's the second feature. You don't have to just like something. Now you can verb any noun, meaning recall when you could only like a video or a comment, a product or a person, and you often didn't because that implied an endorsement. Well, this is my business partner Jim's favorite. Facebook has launched Facebook gestures, meaning rather than liking something, you'll start seeing the option to tell your friends that you're reading a specific book or watching a given movie or even listening to a favorite tune. Facebook's bet is that more people will click a button that says they've just listened to a song or watched a video rather than simply liking it. And here's the payoff common bonds. Your friends will take your lead and check out your interests when they see watched, listened, or read buttons coming through their news feeds. Sharing your features in real time means more of sharing of interesting content on Facebook and more genuine engagement among your friends. Remember, Facebook's fundamental goal is emotion and that improves your life experiences. Here's the third big change. 
Facebook apps need only ask permission once to share stories on your behalf. Originally, apps had to ask every time they shared information about you and your profile. Now, the first time you authorize the app, it will tell you what it's going to share about you. And here's the payoff. It's your time savings. A new Facebook permission screen merely explains exactly what type of stories that will be shared the first time you give an app permission to post to your Facebook wall. Number four, the big change here is all the lightweight information is going to the ticker. That means status updates, photos from a wedding or a vacation, changes in relationship status, those are big updates and you'll continue to see those from your friends in your newsfeed. However, taking a lead from Twitter, trivial details like happenings in Mafia Wars or, or Farmville will be scrolling down the right side of your screen in the ticker. It's a real-time list of those trivial happenings, but important happenings, by your friends. Here's the payoff. Facebook divided the types of user engagement to make it easier for you to discover new content from your friends in real time. Fifth big change. You can watch TV and movies, listen to music, and read news stories with your friends all within Facebook. This update gives, gives new meaning to Facebook being your home page. Without ever leaving Facebook, you can read a story from Washington Post social read app. That's my favorites. That's a favorite of my husband Todd. Listen to a song on Spotify. Ooh, <laughs> that's a favorite of my business partner Jim. Or watch a show on Hulu. My my kids love that feature. And here's the payoff of this this new change. The ticker will tell you what your friends are watching, listening, or, or even reading, allowing you to share the experience with them by clicking on a link. The new peer endorsement will likely influence your buying decisions and, and how you spend your time. And the sixth big change, Facebook has more users and more engagement than ever. Facebook has exceeded 800 million users and it claims it's stopping, it's counting, it's not counting anymore. Users who spend anywhere from 45 minutes to four hours a day on Facebook. Here's the payoff for you. Facebook gives new meaning to the 40-year-long running marketing jingle for cotton, the fabric of our lives. Remember that jingle? To that end, Facebook wants to be the social layer that supports, powers, and connects every single piece of the web, no matter who or, or what or even where it lives. As well, for business, you're at the intersection of not only staying on top of mind of your current clients, but you can meet new prospects and gain bottom line value. So let's recap. These six changes are more than Facebook's answer to the rise of its dominating competitor, Google+. Rather, it's Facebook's fundamental shift, as Zuckerberg himself says, from user growth to user engagement. And as you begin to see these upgrades in the upcoming weeks, embrace them. But always remember, always remember to be careful about what you do online, because it's permanent ink. We at WeBuildYourSocialMedia.com, we are so elated, especially my hyper-techie business partner, Jim Lupkin, and our fans and clients are soon to be supercharged with a brand new Facebook. That is a fundamental truth from America's favorite team. Join me next time for another social media marketing tutorial.